Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Naval Ops Commander. So last time we did two missions in one episode and in each mission we failed one time because I'm bad at this game. The game is kind of hard, but I mean I'm, I'm not the greatest. When it comes to the buttons I get confused with, you know, what direction my ship, uh, ship needs to go and sometimes it gets hard to see my own ship in all of the confusion and explosions and everything on screen. Uh, last episode's submarine mission, or well, the second mission that we did last episode was a prime example of that because there were submarines everywhere and uh, it got really hard for me to keep track of which direction was which. So anyways, this time we're going to be starting off, I did some um, some off camera money grinding, just one mission. I replayed the very first mission actually just to see if maybe I could get, uh, just see if maybe I could get an S rank and I did. I actually managed to get an S rank in mission A1. So, what I got for that, I took pictures of the reward so I can read them off. Um, basically, we got 100% of the objectives, 100% enemies sunk. I did take the time to go around to the coastlines along the entire coast of the first mission and destroy every building I saw. 92% um, life remaining at the end, which is pretty good. I had all three of my escorts still alive and I got an S rank. So. From the mission, we got 9,925 deeds and 40,195 funds. Now, you might say, well, we got almost 40,000 last time. Yeah, but that was the seventh mission. This is the first mission we're talking about, and we got 40,000 funds. Imagine if we could have actually started off with that many funds. We would have been really well off. Anyways, we got 6 XP, and uh, as a reward for getting an S rank, we got two 14 centimeter, 65 caliber guns. So, huzzah, we got our first S rank. It wasn't uh, on camera, but because that's pretty much just because it was, you know, getting an S rank in this game just entails going around all of the shore based installations and destroying all of them, and that takes forever. Um, and that's the hard part, really, or well, that's the tedious part. The hard part is making sure you have enough life left at the end of a mission to uh, get the S rank. So, there's a tedious part and a hard part to getting an S rank. And neither are fun to watch. So, anyways, let's go ahead and design our very first cruiser. I gotta buy the hole first. Yep. We haven't done that yet, I don't think. Um, let's go down here. Whoops, he's up there. Cruiser one. Yeah. Very first cruiser. And then, yeah. There we go. I think we'll just go ahead and go to design with the hull and then buy everything in the design the design menu basically. I think that'll be easier than um, probably be easier than trying to just guesstimate what I'm gonna need in the depot. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start with this over here. Purchase. A slight rise in the hull. Um, about two thirds back from the bow, but uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Boilers, CC boiler is cruisers, so we want at least eight of these. I'm thinking turbines. We want at least four of those. And let's see, aircraft. We have. We would have to use water planes, which I don't think we have any. Whoops. Go down one. Oh, we do have a water plane. We have a Kingfisher. Which, if we look at the details, has depth charges. Now, the cruiser can have depth charges of its own, so this isn't as necessary, but at least we can have it, and I kind of want it, because it'd be cool to have. It'd be cool to have a scout plane with us. So we're going to do this, and we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go to auxiliary, I think. Yes, because we need more sonar and radar. Now, just because we can do it, let's go ahead and go with... Sonar 2. Oh, we have one. I don't know where we got one, but we have one. We need one of these. And we got two of these, I think. Oh, we didn't because <sighs> that was the other save. Yeah. Well, crap. See, this whole thing with my laptop giving out when episode 9 was pre-recorded on it, that messed a lot of stuff up. Anyways, we're gonna want this, so we might as well buy it. Yeah. <sighs> New laptop, though, shouldn't have any more issues uh, like that. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get our very first cruiser bridge. 
and we also would like this, we also would like an aft bridge. Oh, we don't have a cruiser aft bridge yet. Well, darn, that's unfortunate. Let's see, launcher A, B, X, or that one. Um, okay, these three are cruiser specific, and this one can go on a battleship. So. This one, I guess, is the best because it launches them the fastest. Um, not worth the extra price or size, though. So I'm going to probably just go with this one. Yeah, like that. Elevator we don't need, of course, on a cruiser. Guns! The guns. Here we go, 50.5 centimeters. And we probably want four of these. And... No. Let's be crazy. Yes, six of them. We will make this work. 60 caliber. Let's try to put at least eight of these on the ship. Torpedoes. We're gonna have two torpedo tubes. Oh well, two launchers. Depth charges, two of these. Machine guns. Mm, lots of these. Ten, no, twelve. Let's try to get six pair. And uh, I think that's it. We don't have any fancy rockets or missiles, I don't think. No. Okay. I believe we're good. I think we have everything we need to build this thing. Alrighty. Let's go with... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Guns. This one. This one. Four barrels, baby. And we're going to try to put on six of these. Because why not? So, one and two. Oops. And, uh, wait, oh, one, two, like this, oh, it's this, oh, yeah, I couldn't remember if it was this game or Worship Gunner 1, but you basically, the heights number two, uh, height numbers two and three are not, like, compatible with each other, they don't, like, quite overlap, like they're supposed to, or they do overlap, and they're not really supposed to, so, yeah. If we're gonna have eight boilers, we're gonna need. Well, let's look at what kind of smokestacks we got. Bridgeability 10, 10, 6. Um, I guess we'll do. This is a little more than we actually need in terms of purge, but it'll take up less space than having two six boilers. Or six, uh, six purge smokestacks. So, let's put the engines on so we can see how much room we actually have to work with. That one, and there, 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 there. Here, here, and here. And the turbines go like this. And the guns turn around. Oh, the guns can go over top of the... Or they can on this raised part up here anyways. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah. So basically, and then if see if we try to do number two position, it just like it just barely overlaps and won't quite work. So this one we want to be in the number two position, so it's symmetrical with the other side. This looks weird because of the fact that we don't have an aft bridge. Ugh. I wish I knew how much money we had left so I could see if we could like a forward and aft bridge. Well, so here's something I want to do. Um, Let's actually go ahead and erase all of those and move. Let's remove the turbines. What I want to do. Yes, I know. I didn't mean to hit that. Let's go with some armor. Um, 15 centimeter. Oh, wait. That was deck. We don't want deck armor. Well, not that much, anyways. 10. This. I want to go heavy, man. I want 20 centimeters of armor for sure. Let's buy four more boilers and see where that gets us. Also, let's see how much money we have left by the time we do that. Oh, we're gonna have plenty. Okay. There we go. Two more, or four more boilers. Like that. <sighs> and let's just go in here and copy these. We need a fast ship. So now we should have 12 uh, boilers, I believe. Turbines this. This is no longer sufficient. And now we need stacks. Two of these guys. Like 
this. Um, we could do that, but let's uh, let's try to do this. Let's go down here with the number two height, uh, like this, and the number one height. Whoops, that's a little too far forward. And basically, I just want to see, can we do that? That'll work. Yeah. Now, it's going to look awkward until we actually have an aft bridge, and once we have it, we'll probably have to shift all of these close up to the stern, which is fine. I'm kind of just totally expecting that anyways. Um, I want the machine guns in the second slot, so I have quick access to them for interception purposes. And let's just go, I don't know, here for now, just to have one so it fills up the slot. Torpedoes can be next. Let's go ahead and just put two launchers of these guys on, like so, and um, what else? Oh yeah, high angles. These guys, this guy, blah, blah, blah. there we go. Can we go out with these at all? No, I guess not. Oh yeah, it doesn't even let me adjust the width, it just it does it for me. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. So let's put some there, and here, and like... there, I guess, but that looks kind of weird, so let's move those back a touch. There we go. And then, can we go, like, I guess we'll just go, like, right there. Sure. We can have six pair of machine guns. So we'll do, like, something like this, I guess, uh, maybe, there, and then one out here. Hopefully, maybe, please. Oh, come on now. Well, wait. Did I see a spot over here? No. Huh. That's slightly annoying. I guess we'll just go ahead and put these over here. There we go. Finally decided on a machine gun placement layout sort of thing here. Um, one, two, three. Oh, I can still put another pair on somewhere. Well, I guess we'll put them right there. Fine, whatever. Um, what else? Let's see. Searchlights. Oh, wait. Searchlights. Like, uh, I don't know. There. And um, back here, because why not? And, oh, a launcher. An aircraft launcher here. We only bought one, but that's okay. Go ahead and put that right uh, there. Oh, yeah. Other armament last armament we need is our depth charges. Hopefully we have room for two, one, and two. Good. Okay. There we go. We're still doing 37 knots as a pretty heavily armored and armed cruiser. So, got all of our guns, that stuff, this stuff. Oh yeah, auxiliary stuff. Sonar 2, radar 1, and firing delay system 1. Aircraft. We can go with our Oh, it's two you kingfishers, like so. Armor's good. I think we're good. It looks like we are done with our very first cruiser. And, uh, yeah, it's basically a big destroyer, pretty much. A big destroyer that can have some slightly different weapons, such as uh, the high-angle guns and uh, aircraft launchers on it. So, and we'll try to do a mission. We'll see. If, um, it, it might go over the, you know, the time that I'm looking for, but that's okay. Actually, we can do some tech, too. Let's see if I get another, let's see if I get an aft bridge. Hey, I got an aft bridge. Cool. Oh, well, with time to redesign the ship already. Cruiser 2, come on! You gonna tease me like that? Yeah. And it has a flat deck and everything. Oh, man. You gonna tease me like that? <sighs> well... Huh. Not only did it give us an aft bridge, which I'm totally okay with, but it just gave us second or second cruiser. And I just spent the whole time designing this one. Ugh. All right. Do I want to uh, use this cruiser first, or do I want to just kind of? Yeah, let's use this cruiser for one mission at least. So we're going to have to move this back, and then, oopsies, like this, 
that's not gonna work. Can we do this? Can we do this? Uh, huh. <coughs> well, we have to change our design a little bit, I guess, huh? Oh my goodness, please. Just place somewhere. Anywhere for now. There. And. There. And up there. Okay. Yeah, since we're going to use this cruiser for at least one mission, um, we might as well go ahead and put the aft bridge on. Purchase. Also, we're going to buy a second aircraft launcher just to get symmetrical. I don't know if it actually will make the aircraft launch faster. It might. It might not. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to find out. So we're going to buy one more of those. Oh, 3,000. Please? Yeah, I can do it. There we go. Cool. Ah, uh, let's see. Equipment. This guy. F bridge. Oh, wow. Um. Huh. Well, then. You know what? We're going to just abort all of this stuff. Abort. Yeah. There we go. I wonder if it kept my purchases, basically. I don't know. Like, do I still have those things that I bought in my inventory? Because it's fine if I do. I'm just curious. Let's see if I how much money I have. No, it did not. It deleted those as well. That's fine. Um, that's that's okay. Well, I don't know. We don't really have time to try a mission. What is it? What is our next mission? 40% of all enemy emplacements. That'll take a while. Mmm. Uh, I know last episode ran long, so how about this? We'll call this a short episode, and then next time we'll start off by doing this mission, and then after we do this mission, I'll pause the video, basically, so that I can do another mission off-camera. Actually, I might not even have to do that. Depends. If we have enough money after we do this mission next time, we will go ahead and design Cruiser 2. If we don't, I'll pause the video, do a mission, get enough money, then I'll come back and do Cruiser 2 next time. So that's, that's the plan. Sound good? So that's what we're going to try and do next time in Naval Ops Commander. I do want to use this cruiser for at least one mission. I just spent the time to design it. So, um, yeah, that, uh, that'll do it for this episode. Sorry for the short episode again, but I know the last one was kind of long. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Naval Ops Commander.